What's up, it's Based, and this is going to be a video about YouTube gaming and what does it mean to streamers and what does it mean to viewers. So today I finally got an opportunity to stream over on YouTube gaming. I have a few impressions, I got a few opinions, but you're probably asking, what is YouTube gaming? YouTube gaming is going to be the direct competition to Twitch. It's going to allow people to go and stream the games that they like to play for an audience. What's the big differences? Well, the first thing is you can run games at 60 frames per second, 1080p streaming, which is awesome as a broadcaster because you're going to be able to show a game the way it's supposed to be played and the quality that it's supposed to be played at, as long as your computer and your internet can handle it. The second thing is DVR functionality. Say you go into a stream, you're about 20, 30 minutes late, maybe an hour late, maybe two hours late. Well, you could go back up to four hours and rewind it and then catch up that way. So that way you feel like you didn't miss anything and you don't have to go and watch the entire VOD all over again just to get to a certain part. So you have that as well. So it was very easy to set up when you went to go start streaming. Uh, when I started, they gave you the keys, they gave you the information that you needed, basically like a step-by-step -step process of how to do it, and you started up. The one thing I really didn't like was it didn't give you a live link at that moment to go and tweet it out. I know some people have their YouTube set up to their Twitter and so on, but some people don't. Some people maybe just want to make a custom message to send out to their Twitter, their Facebook, or however they want to do it, and it just didn't give me that option. I wish they would have gave me that option. There's going to be a lot of people trying to transfer over from Twitch to YouTube or just trying to use both, but a lot of people aren't going to be able to find you the same way that people were on Twitch because that's where a lot of people found their following. For those that were lucky enough to start doing YouTube things like that, it's a little bit easier. But just for my own personal reasons, I think it would just be easier if they gave us a live link. Now, as far as the stream quality goes, it was perfect. Everybody that was in chat that was letting me know feedback, audio, and things like that was saying it was superb. 60 frames per second. Uh, I was at 720p, I didn't go to 1080. Um, I gotta test that out later, see how that goes. But they said they really enjoyed it as far as the video and audio quality went. So here's the confusing part. There's two different types of links for your gaming YouTube or your YouTube stream. There's one that has the traditional white background that we're all used to with the chat bar on the side. And then there's the gaming.youtube.com one where it's gonna be the black background and what we're used to like the big Twitch chat on the side. But the thing was, the people that were using the black background or the gaming.youtube.com one was that the chat was lagging or the chat wasn't even showing up at some points. And sometimes chat would just eat the message all alone. So I think, you know, since it's the first day that we're all on this, I think down the road that they're going to fix that. But that was just something that we've all noticed. Outside of those two things, I didn't really find anything else that was sticking out that I disliked. I thought it was a very good launch as far as you see a lot of people supporting it versus you know you have your other alternatives disco melee you have your hit boxes and we all tried to go and do that and we saw the outcome for most of it and i wish that they would grow but there has never been a competitor to twitch that gave people the opportunity now that's where i'm going to go in on next i see a lot of people that are getting defensive or basically attacking or downing YouTube gaming before they even get a chance to try it and I get it a lot of people are partnered a lot of people have a lot of relevance on Twitch and they don't want to see that go away because of competition but if anything it's going to give people more of an opportunity to grow and it's also going to have basically a lot of fire underneath Twitch's ass to fix a lot of the problems that they had or fulfill the promises they were saying in the past we all know what they are I'm not going to go into big detail about that all I'm saying is, is if we give this a chance which a lot of people are and it's a pretty solid service that I think in the long run, we're all going to be able to benefit from this and we're all going to be able to grow our brands. We're going to be growing our channels and just all along get a bigger boost in popularity. And if not, then who cares? It's something you got to figure out for yourself. But all I'm trying to say is that all this is, is going to give us a great opportunity to grow as casters. And that's about it. So I kept this video short. Thank you guys for coming and checking this out. Hope to see you guys on the stream. Y'all be cool. Peace.